Welcome to our demonstration of restoring replicated backup data using VMware vSphere Data Protection Advanced. With vSphere Data Protection Advanced, or VDP Advanced, backup data can be replicated from one VDP Advanced appliance to another for redundancy and offsite data protection. In this video, we will show options for restoring backup data with VDP Advanced, either from locally stored backup data or from backup data replicated to a remote site. These options include Restoring a VM or application data from backup data stored locally. Performing a restore at the remote site using replicated backup data. Recalling replicated backup data from the remote site to the local site. And, in circumstances where the original VDP Advanced appliance at the local site is no longer intact, a new VDP Advanced appliance can be deployed and used to recall replicated backup data from the remote site. This diagram shows the environment for the demo. We have four hosts running VMware Virtual SAN at the local site. A VDP Advanced Virtual Appliance is running in the local site. The remote site consists of two hosts with SAN storage. A VDP Advanced Virtual Appliance is running in the remote site. Backup jobs and replication jobs have already been configured and are running daily at both sites. A request is received by the help desk to restore a virtual machine named HR01 as it was back on August 11, 2014. We click the Backup tab and see that there is a backup job named HR. Click Show Items to see the list of virtual machines protected by this backup job. HR01 is in that list. Click OK. To start the restore process, click the Restore tab. Here we see the list of machines, application data, and their restore points stored in the VDP Advanced Appliance. We see HR01 and HR02, the virtual machines in our HR backup job. Click HR01 to see the locally available restore points. A restore point dated August 11, 2014 is not present on the local system, so we will have to check the remote site. After switching to the other web browser tab, we see the VDP Advanced UI for the remote site. Click the Restore tab and click Replicate to view the available restore points replicated from the local site. A restore point for HR01 dated August 11, 2014 is available. We could restore the virtual machine using this restore point at the remote site. However, the virtual machine needs to be restored back at the local site. We switch back to the UI for the local site and click Recover Replicated Backups. Click Select a destination to use from an existing replication job. Click the HR replication job. Click Verify Authentication. The credentials entered when that replication job was created are used. If there are no existing replication jobs, for example, with a new VDP Advanced Appliance, the remote destination information can be entered manually. Click OK. Click Next. We see the list of available restore points that were replicated to the remote site. We expand the list and see the restore point for HR01 dated August 11. Click the checkbox to select it and click Next. Click OK. The backup data for that restore point is replicated from the remote site back to the local site. Now that the needed backup data is at the local site, click the Restore tab, click Replicate, click the VDP Advanced Appliance at the local site, and expand the list of available restore points. The August 11 restore point is now available for restore at the local site. We select the restore point and click Restore. Click Next. Note that VDP Advanced appends a unique string of characters to the virtual machine name. This can be changed as needed. We will keep the existing name and select a location in the vCenter server hierarchy where the virtual machine will be restored. Then click OK, click Next, click Finish. The restore was successfully initiated. Click OK. After sufficient time has passed for the restore to complete, we view the list of virtual machines in the local site and find the newly restored virtual machine. This concludes our demonstration of restoring replicated backup data using VMware vSphere Data Protection Advanced. Thank you.